hello. I hate starting things. Starting things is so hard. Hello, Tumbly Poos. I am I am here to give a, a tutorial on how to make David Tennant bookmarks. Got a request uh, to sell how I made them, and so I'm making this video. Uh, they're actually really simple to make. I'm hoping that David Tennant never finds this video, and if he does, and I'm speaking to you now, David, um, I regret nothing. <laughs> Alright, so what you're going to need for this craft is you're going to need this picture uh, printed out on some thick paper, preferably cardstock. Glossy paper will work. And then you're going to need scissors. And also a book to put him in. I have here uh, The Pillow Man by Martin McDonough, which is one of my favorite plays. And also, coincidentally, uh, was a play that David Tennant originated the role of Katurian in nuance. So, step one. Size your picture down uh, to the size you want it, print it out, and as many as you like. And then, just get the basic picture out of it. So we're gonna cut here. This house is filled with- Now below, you want to leave some room, uh, especially if it's a less thick kind of paper because you need something to stick in the book. When you use cardstock, really, like a little tiny amount will keep it up there. Uh, but when you're using something not as thick, you want to keep some some room down here to actually stick in the book. First thing you want to cut out is you want to cut out the outline around his hand there and up over his head. You want to just cut his head out so that you just have his head, his hands, the rest of the photo, and then white. So just cut out everything basically that isn't David Tennant except for what's below his hands. Keep that. Oh, David Tennant, I'm so sorry. At least I'm not, like, teaching people how to, I don't know, uh, find your house, or track you down, or steal your organs. That would be, now that would be unfortunate. This is just, this is just having some harmless fun. So, step one, step one complete. It's gonna look something like this. I've done kind of a crappy job cutting that out. Um, step two, what you want to do is cut out the hand. Now it gets tricky when you get to about here. Because what you want to do when you get to kind of like the last finger there, um, you want to go up and cut up till about, till about there on his hand um and don't cut any of that off just let it hang for a little bit just let it hang and i'll tell you what to do with it in a moment this is david's right hand we're going to be cutting out uh so it'll be actually on the left when you're cutting it out when you're cutting the hand don't cut any of this off yet don't cut any of this part off just keep it on there we'll take care of it in a moment and then when you're going up on that last bit of his hand just go up in kind of a straight line Follow the curve and then stop. Stop this so that it's hanging off a bit like that. See how that just kind of flips up? Okay, now we're gonna do David's left hand. On his left hand, what you want to do. This one is the tricky one. Now this part uh, kind of cut off a little bit of his hand. That's okay, he can have three fingers. Basically, you wanna do the same thing that you did for the other one, but on this one, his his there's not there's not a lot of there's nothing here. There's nothing here to catch that. So when you're cutting up the last bit there, when you're cutting that, what you want to do is get as close as you can to the top of his hand, but don't, don't cut the hand off. Don't cut the hand off, okay? It's going to be a tiny little flap keeping it on there, and it'll probably wear down after time, but it, it will stay. It will stay if you've got thick enough paper. And even on regular paper, it works. It's not the greatest, but it works. If you want to cut, like, this part off all the way down. Just cut it off. So once you've done that, it should look something like that. You still have that flap there, but now 
as it goes up, there's just going to be, there's not going to be any of that other stuff there. So, now on the other side, you basically do the same thing. Cut from like this point down. Now, what you have left is something that looks like this. And you're going to be like, Tori, that looks like absolute shit. And you know what? It does. But when you put it in a book, it doesn't matter. And you know what? You can decorate this part or make it pretty or cut things into it. I don't care. You say, mm, I'm reading. I'm reading my book. Look at the play. And then when you say, hmm, I am want to pause here. I'm sorry, I'm explaining bookmarks. You know how bookmarks work. You put it behind the page and put his little hand, his wee, his wee little hands. Oh God, that's the worst Scottish accent I've ever heard in my entire life. I apologize. I apologize to David Tennant. I apologize to, to Scotland. I apologize to the world for that, what just happened. I have no, I have no words. And, there you go. He's hanging onto your book and saying, hello, this is your page. I can't do accents. Apparently, in my mind, David Tennant sounds like a, a, a weird, creepy version of Mickey Mouse. And I should really just stop this video now. This is why I don't talk to people. I am the worst, I am the worst at crafts ever. Again, uh, David Tennant, if you ever see this video, I'm half, 50% of me is sorry, 45% of me is mortified, and the other 5% um, is proud. <laughs> so, you made the face, you pay the price. And then I crawled back into my hole, and I never made a video again. Bye! But they mean Disclaimer, I was not the first person to make these. I did not come up with this idea on my own. I saw a picture that is on my, it should be linked below this video. Found it on Pinterest. That is where I got the idea. There were no instructions with it. Couldn't find who originally made it, so I made this. But. I did not like create this idea. It was it was not me. Step two. Step two. Kristen Stewart hair. hair. Oh my god. Okay. I apologize if you hear the sound of a plastic bag moving in the background. My cat likes to like plastic bags. Don't ask me why. I don't know. We're gonna need that again.